Hello everyone, welcome to Manari TV. Hello, who are you? I don't know who are you. Who are you? And what are you doing in this village at this uh, hot afternoon? Give me a pet and mommy what I got to go to a major cast. Oh, Jadike, I don't have your time this hot afternoon. You don't have my time? I don't have your time because I'm too expensive for that. I can't waste my precious time in talking to an old drunkard like you. Hey, expensive, it's a lot. Expensive, it's a lot. You know experiment. I know you have a experiment. You are not expenses. You are too expensive to stand with me here. Yes. You are not even happy that I, 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 Stop, stop you. Hey, Did I stop you? I can't. Did I stop you? No, answer me. Did I ever stop you? How can I stop a winch? I thought people like you don't 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 see in the afternoon. They only see in the night. Manakegi, we we were a jump more in a honey here. Now honabali. Winch. Who is your mother in this community? Speak before I I I I I, I paramount you into into imbecility. See, old man, I'm too expensive for talking a changing word with you. Beautiful girl like me. Tomato jaws. Awesome. A govin. Apple now. Old drunkard like you. Hey. <laughs> I thought when you were turning around. I'm not going to turn. Oh, you're going to be a Even in the nation, you're going to be a nation. Cut it. You're going to be a nation. You're going to be a nation. You're going to be he won't get out of time. He will cause he will tomato me, maybe he will tomato tomato and go. He will tomato a bag and he will tomato tomato. Don't want the more than I read a chat. We're going to tell you what we're going to do. If I'm going to get you to the can they fuck? Can they lie? I want to know fire. Die, 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 die. Come on, and they look at you. I'm going to look at my single. If I bear with them, it's not like I'm going to get one more like that. Illegal stupid element. Blank a fool of you. Bombastic element. Caterpillarious. Uh, capillary. Nonsense. The day you will stop me again, I'll be saying this. I will break that remaining uh, waste of yours. Useless man. Please get out. Let me see road. Get out. Hey. Okay. Okay, Leo. What's happening, bam? The water got to go warm. More layer. Don't walk, 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 do you have value? You know, it will, it will tomato just. It will, it will here. Make an agar to one of each single thing. It's all with the loot. Your mates are, 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 are producing in their matrimonial home. In 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 a ganuzo. Who must be good Ghana? In a ganuzo. You don't believe in any kasapanga. Any any women is he go make your brain open up. He drink na in power, na in power. If you drink, he go shackle like slaves. You think say you know something? I got you. Hmm. I got you. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like I promised you that I'm going to bring the only surviving daughter of uh, our late king, Okenna Chedera. That's Chedera. My dear, my heart leapt with joy. When I heard the news of your return, you know, actually we all feared that all of you had been lost forever. So we are grateful to our gods for their wisdom in preserving your life and bringing you back to us. Welcome. Welcome, my dear. Welcome. Thank you, Your Majesty. Yes. Agalagudi. Yes. Uh, Igwe. But should you have waited for me to give you an invitation to come and say hi to me before coming? Yeah? I'm sorry, Your Majesty. I was planning on doing that. It's all right. Don't mind me. I was only joking. I got to be. He came by one. He came by one. You know, it's uh, accepted that you need uh, some time to get acclimatized to the environment. I just like somebody that has just been uh, exhumed from the dead. Two of them. Two of Oh, yes. I can assure you that this actually calls for celebration. Oh, oh, oh. We need to celebrate your return. Mm. Mm. We need to make noise because of your return. Yes. Yes. Well, yeah. To tell you that we are happy. To assure the gods that we are happy that I you're here with us. I'm mm. I'm I'm and I'm saying it here and now oh, yes. that I am going to host a lavish entertainment oh, to herald and it. celebrate her return. Oh, yes. Oh, my God. 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 Because she is an important part of this kingdom. Yes. Oh, yeah. 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 Exactly. 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 The card. Oh, yes. Exactly. Oh, yeah. 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 Hey girls, is what I just said possible? What exactly? About the Igwe not having a symbol of authority. <clears throat> hmm. So you're taking him so serious? Oh, that's just a mad drunk. What does he know? Yes, undeniably a drunk. But you can't deny that he knows nothing. That man knows so many things that so many people do not know in this kingdom. <laughs> so you're saying he's right? <sighs> I didn't say that. But come to think of it, didn't you see the looks at the chief faces when he said that none of them has ever seen the Igwe before? Didn't you see it? Exactly! Their looks suggest he was saying the truth. Yes. Wakomo, if you think he knows nothing, how come he knew about us? Hmm. I don't want to believe what my mind is telling me. You know, rumor once had it that the Igwe 
is responsible for the murder of the entire household oh, of the late Igwe. <coughs> Please do. Mm. I beg. Mm. I beg. Mm. Amaka! Shut your mouth. Shut this up. Now. Now you That's what I heard. Excuse me. I'll, I'll, I'll just pretend I, 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 I didn't hear you girls. Continue. Talk. Ah. Uh, um. It was really tragic what happened to your family 20 years ago. I was away in the city when it happened. But I hurried back and uh, we made concerted and spirited efforts to get at the perpetrators of that act. Unfortunately, it was to no avail. Mm. Mm. So brutal. So, so brutal. Yeah. Mm. How could a human being, mm. how a human being cause such pain? A human being commits such evil. <clears throat> oh. um, sorry to interrupt you, Your Majesty. She doesn't like talking about it. Mm. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry, I. I understand, you know, it evokes uh, so much, you know, mem memories of, uh, you know, misery. Of course, that's why she doesn't like talking about it. As a matter of fact, she's trying to chat a way forward by proposing to be married to her father's company in his name. With that, she will carry on his generation. I see. I see. It's not bad. That makes sense. Yes. It's not. Yes. I will support that. And by the way, uh, Tradition permits that. Oh it yes. Does. yes, yes, it, it does. does. Yes. It does. Yes. yes, yes. So then it's settled. Oh, mm. you will get all the support mm. from me and from this council. True, absolutely. Huh? Thank you, Your Majesty. Yes, my dear. Thank you. You're welcome once more. And uh, elders, I. I recall that I promised to hold a celebration, a lavish celebration, celebration in honor of this our daughter. It will still hold. Oh yes, that's when he said I got quite lazy. We understand what the girl is trying to do. She remains in her father's compound and procreates. However, if a male child happens to come along, then this throne stands threatened. The throne is their birthright. Your Majesty, you shouldn't have uh, permitted the proposed marriage then. <laughs> what hmm? was I supposed to do? Tradition permits it. Besides, I had to do what everybody expected of me. 
you, 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 tell, you are very correct. In fact, I will assure you that that, uh, the, 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 that girl's return will not be a threat to the truth. Mm -hmm. That's such. That's such. That means everything remains as it is. Yes. Mm -hmm. Come to think of it, she is a woman. And a woman has no business with royalty or the throne. Okay. That's all right. So, um, Your Majesty, I think I should be on my way. Yeah? Thank you. Ne, I cannot thank you enough for saving the life of my niece. We thought we've lost her forever. Thank you so much, my dear. That is nothing. Odera saved my life more than I saved us. I don't think I will still be alive by now. Wow. As a matter of fact. I was considering suicide huh? before I met her. I was a poor, helpless widow. But she gave me hope. She is undoubtedly the reason I am still breathing. So all thanks to her. Yes. Uncle. Mama here has been very good to me. She's the one who convinced me to return home. And also to marry into my father's she family did? name. Yes. Oh. Though Odera has become part of me. But sometimes someone needs to face the truth. She has to go back to her people. Yes, because she doesn't belong here. Hi. It's nice of you. Yeah. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. Good afternoon. Uh, um, Uncle, please take my son. I'm going to leave for that. I'm going to Let me get your bag. If you wanted me to take him to a function somewhere, it was a static section. But I managed to regroup myself out just to be here. No. Please forgive my letter. Uh, 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 that's why you went. Just sit down, sit down. Mother do what? Fix yourself with some bottle. Uh, uh, you want to go? Yeah. <laughs> I'm on the leave for now. We waited for you, but um, at the time we said, let's uh, uh, get on with them. Marriage rights, oh, you know. Yes. I hope everything went oh, all right. Yeah, even so many people have uh, gone. Yeah, uh, I really like it. I think what is left now is, uh, uh, Chenera, uh, call your son. Let me introduce your son to you. Know, uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's very important. Yeah. What do you mean, Chidera, Call your son. Ah, oh, no. You know, it was just yesterday that I learned about him. And you can imagine how happy I was. Mm. <laughs> Even all of us, we had a taste like it. Afam! Mm. Yes, mommy. Come. Uh, yes. This is um, uh, um, Afam Ifuna. Uh, uh, Chidera's son. Good evening, sir. Uh, Afam, you are welcome. So, this is double celebration. The marriage and the son. That's a good one. 
saying that father's position is threatened? I don't know, my son. But all I know is that Ukena's family is the rightful owner of the royalty of this kingdom. If not the ordeal that happened many years ago, your father wouldn't have been the king. Are you for real? Yes. This is serious. The person that returned is a woman. Yes. How come father supported the issue of her remaining in her father's house? My dear, it is the tradition. It's our tradition. You got your tradition. Yes. I don't understand. You got your tradition. Father knows his throne is threatened, yet he supported the idea of this woman remaining in her father's house when he could have stopped it. It's but a tradition. Is it that he has had enough of the throne and is not worried about listening to another person? Because that's not me. I will do everything humanly possible to see that I frustrate that. I must wait after my father. And nothing can stop it. My son, calm down. Calm down. It is the tradition. I don't care about tradition. I don't care. What I care about is the truth. I must reign after my father. Your Majesty. My friends. Yes. The food is served. Are you stupid? Are you mad? What kind of nonsense? Bring this 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 kind of thing from. This life is full of dragons. Mom, I don't want to hear anything. I don't want to hear. Come down. Are you on my side? You know I am. Fine. You know who I am. But the right thing must be done. The rightful sons we come to possess it. The skill and her uncle played on my intelligence. Mm. They played on everyone, Your Majesty. But they failed because this will not work. Of course not. This child is not a direct blood to the native way. So we do not recognize it. Yes, that uh, <laughs> do not forget that these people are working with some members of our cabinet. They will put up some strong arguments. Um, maybe. there is no amount of argument they will put up to prove that this child is the son of Letigwe. Good. Mm, I do understand that the tradition permits her to bear children for her late father. But this child has been in the picture before that. Besides, we do not know who fathered him. He could be an Osu. A man from a rival village. So he will let that not bother you when the time comes to we'll deal with that. Oh no! Uh, <laughs> oh no! Oh yes! <laughs> I don't want to get to worry. Thank you very much. Yes. <laughs> Good afternoon, Ma. Good afternoon. Mama, don't you recognize me again? This is Obiara. Of course I know. What are you doing in my compound? Mama, I am here to see Shidara. I don't know if she's around. She's not. She has returned back to her people. So, leave my compound. To her people? 
Mama, I thought she was a child. Ah, I thought you know much about her. Which was why you treated her the way you did. She has gone back to her people. So leave my compound. Please, ma, can I know where her people stay? Don't ask me nonsense questions. Leave my compound. Let, let me just say my Get alarm. out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Let me come on. See about what? After many years, you treated her the way you did. You still have the God to come here looking for her. Nonsense. Disappointed you, but please, hmm. please forgive me, Mama. Please, there is nothing to forgive, my daughter. You have not committed any crime. If Obiora doesn't want the child, we take care of it, Mama. Of course, come on, look at us. Don't you think we need a child here? Yeah? Of course, we do. The child is a blessing. Forget Obiora. Don't even go to look for him again. We take care of the child. Let's do. I want you to pray for the pregnancy to be a male child. There is something I will tell you much later. Wipe your tears. I hope you are not angry with me for driving Obi on her way. No. But I am surprised to see him here. Who would have thought that Obi would show his face around here after all these years. I know he will come. What do you think he came for? To claim the child? Of course he has no right to claim the child. He cannot abandon him from the womb and come back to claim him after 13 years. That is not where it's done. Look, there is something you need to understand. I planned this day from the onset. I knew a day will come. You would go back to your father's house. I needed to prepare you ahead of it. Why do you think I encouraged your relationship with Obiora. I wanted you to get pregnant and give birth to a child that will carry your late father's name along. Then, if you remember, I told you to pray for the child to be a male child. 
and I'm happy with God, he turned the child to a male child. That was why I made sure you carefully raised him. I knew Obiora was from your land. So don't worry. Obiora is not a problem. He is not a problem. Dad, what is this rumor I hear flying around that you've lost the throne to someone else? And how come you've never told me about it? Well, it's just a rumor. You see, people have mouth and they use that mouth to say anything they like. Hmm. The throne is mine. And you shall sit on it after me. So shall your own son. Anybody that says anything to the contrary is making a huge mistake. But this is not what they are saying. Well, forget what they are saying and listen to what I am saying. I'm your father. I did not steal this throne from anybody. The people of this kingdom got together and placed the crown on my head because I deserved it, as they do. Whoever that's coming from anywhere to lay claim on, on, on this throne is, is talking nonsense. So what you're saying now is that there's no cause for alarm? That's exactly what I am saying. And I must warn you, be careful about what you hear, wherever you go. Mesa, do you hear what I heard? What did you hear, my sister? <laughs> I heard that late Kibwe's daughter did not just complete all the traditional marriage rites. She also presented her son that day. Exactly. I was there. I saw mm -hmm. the boy. He is such a lovely boy. Are you serious? I am serious, my sister. But wait, oh. Is it possible he can become the next Igwe? Of course, there is no doubt about that. The kinship is in their family. Was it not for the fact that the late Igwe and the family were murdered? They wouldn't have lost the throne at the first place. Mm -hmm. huh. The mother is very wicked. Huh? He's very, very wicked. I'm sure that the plan to murder the Igwe was not from this kingdom. Because I remembered even police investigated everything and concluded that the plan and the killing was not related to this town. Even at the point that the present Igwe desperately wanted the throne, mm. people began to rumor that he may have hand in it. But mm. over the years, he has been on the throne. Nothing has happened. <laughs> in as much as I personally do not like this thing, Eh? I can't wait to see that useless. I can't wait to see that useless king surrender that throne. You know what? He and his stupid son have caused this kingdom so much pain already. Yes, so. Yes, so, my sister. Let's go. It's, it's impossible. Impossible. Why do you say it's impossible? She has done all the traditional marriage rights. Eh? Well, uh, but she had this child already. What, what, what matters? As long as she has done, done the traditional marriage rights, the traditional marriage rights identifies this boy as her father's son, right? Don't say that. Well, she uh, hasn't even shown us or told us the father of the boy. I mean, who fathered the boy, the, the child? Somebody did. Eh? Somebody. He may come out tomorrow and 
lay claims over that child. And <laughs> don't forget this. We don't even know whom the father of the boy is. <laughs> we don't know whether he is an Osu or someone from uh, any of the villages around us. We don't have anything to do with any of this. This qualifies this young boy as our monarch. Remember this. And, and if it's not, still, we will not accept that child, I mean that kid, as our king. We are happy with Igwe Kemba's leadership. Oh, he, mm. yes. Wow. Not the, not the entire kingdom, at least 80% members of this kingdom are displeased with him. And don't forget in a hurry that the members of the late Igwe's family are still the eldest in this kingdom. But all that family died many years and ago. And so? Babia, so? So what do you mean? What does it matter? The boy. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Listen, the boy, the boy you are trying to present uh -huh. As his grandson is a total stranger. No good stranger. It doesn't matter. Notice. He can be born by birth or by adoption. It doesn't matter. <laughs> born by birth, or birth or adoption. Does it matter? It now matters a lot. Two, two laws says either by birth or by adoption. You are, you are see the son. No, no, that boy is a total stranger. Bada bada bam bam. Oh, you mad? Let us go. Let us go. Let us go. Let us go. <laughs> it can never be denied. Hey. Destiny can only be delayed. It can never be denied. Hey. You mean you're from this village? I, I never knew you were from here. I thought that woman was your mother. Until I went back there a few nights ago and she told me you've come back to your village. I never knew you were from here. And what brought you here? Of course, I'm from this village too. Yes, I'm from Amocha clan. Can I... Is it possible it could be... Could be what? What does it matter to you? Oh no, I am sorry. I'm not trying to claim him. Of course I know I have no such right to do so. You're right. You don't. I know. But he's such a lovely kid. I can't imagine what he went through during the pregnancy. I am sincerely sorry. It's all in the past now. I know it's all in the past, but I still have to apologize for what I made you pass through. And thank you so much for giving such a boy a life to live. <laughs> you know, my mind cannot be at rest because I thought you aborted the pregnancy when I disappeared. Well, I kept him because I needed him. You left because you didn't need him. Dora, come on, why are you sounding like this? I am not trying to dispute it. I... I have to go. My son is starving. So, can, can I walk you home? No. Thanks. You mean that kid is your son? Um, Papa, I, I wouldn't call him my son because I, I don't think I have the right to. I abandoned the mother when the boy was still in the womb. After I asked her to abort him, I'm just seeing him after 13 years now and I don't think I have that moral right to call him my, my son when I abandoned the mother and even thought he was aborted. Of course you have no mother right to call him your son. What a drastic mistake. Hey. <coughs> what, 
You should have told me, you know. Yeah, Papa, I should have told you, but... Uh, Papa, I know you very well. You would have skinned me alive. I mean, how old was I then? Let me be for now, okay? Just go! Let me be for now, okay? Please. Go, 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 go! out that the man who made her pregnant is from this kingdom and your jack clan it's your kids son to be precise mm. isn't he making any plan to claim his child it seems he abandoned the child from whom and even asked the maiden in question to abort He has no knowledge that the child survived until a few days ago. So he and the father cannot claim the child. I see. I see. Uh, Your Majesty, this all seems as a grand plot to destroy you. Yes. I, I think Okezie would have made effort to claim that child. If not for the fact he stands a chance to become the next Igwe. Oh, come on. He doesn't have any chance. See, there is something I, I need to let both of you know. It does not matter who was on that throne before me. Fact remains that he has had his chance and he has lost it. You can't eat your cake and have it. Igwe. Why? Today I am the Igwe. After me, my son will mount the throne. After my son, my children's children will be here. So, as far as this throne is concerned, royalty will continue for a long time to come. So better tell that to whoever that is scheming to come and seat me. Of course he will. Yes, that is yes. <laughs> You can't change traditions. You can't change traditions. Hey, man. You're relaxing or you're thinking? You look boring. And I'm like. I know this throne is threatened, no matter how you try to ignore it or act like all is well. But my worry is, why would you allow such a little boy to pose such a big threat to your throne? That I urge you to do something about it or I will handle it my own way. No. Stay out of it. Oh, that means you're going to handle it, right? That's fine. Just stay out of it. Don't get involved in it. It's my problem. I'll handle it. We are talking about the throne here. I mean, my inheritance. Not just your people. She didn't care. I just told you to stay out of it. It's my problem. Don't get involved. 
I fought very, very hard to secure this throne. And I know what to do. Don't help me. Stay out of it. Well, I'm really going to fight real hard to make sure that the throne doesn't slip away from your fingers. I can see your fingers are shaking. Shibike! Bobby. Stay out of this, okay? Okay, fine. All right. My fingers aren't shaking. Look at, look at them, look at them. Rocks! My prince, how could the king say a thing like that? Is it that he does not realize how serious the matter is? You see, that's what I've been trying to make him understand. But he asked me to stay away. How could he possibly say that? Oh, maybe he has had enough of the throne. Like you rightly pointed out. Who knows? But this is you, my prince. It is about your legacy. You must do what you have to do in order to protect it. What would you have me do, my friend? Anything. Anything, my prince. We will dig it out the more. Let's just leave here. What does not belong to you? Yes, let's leave. Oh, one day, the rightful source we got to possess it. Oh. Please don't kill me. 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 Thank you. We so much by chasing with the machets. Some boys. Come. It's okay. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid anymore. There are no boys here. And certainly no, no machets. Hmm? It's only a dream. I fear for my son's life. He has been having a series of nightmares lately. Are you serious? Yes. And it's unlike him. This whole thing started from the time we moved back into this land. And I know what it's about. It has to do with this whole kingship saga. Someone or some people are after my son's life. And I don't want anything to happen to him. And so I'm I want to ask you, can we please forget about this mm -hmm. whole kingship, the throne, mm -hmm. royalty, mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. I... No, 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 please. Don't even go there. You don't have to say it like this. It's like losing our bet right to someone else. Someone that doesn't deserve the throne. We must do everything we can to get that throne back to this family. Not at the expense of my son's life, no.
Besides, my son is not a direct son of my late father. And so I don't want I don't want the throne for him. I don't even want him to be king. I already lost my father and two of my brothers to this throne. And so by all means I must keep my child safe. Please. Chedera, your son will be fine. We will protect him. Trust me. Nothing's going to happen to him. We'll be fine. Honestly, I cannot say I am surprised to hear that. I never trusted Ikemba. The way he is desperately holding onto that throne and protects it, even though it is not his to protect. And uh, it proves to me that he can do anything and everything to keep onto it. I don't trust him. I believe he may be the one after the boy's life. There you go. What do I do to protect this boy's life? Though I gave my niece, Chedera, my words, but honestly, I don't know what to do to protect the life of this boy. I think, I think it's about time we pay a visit to the Ezemwa's son, Udederi. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Kezie, yes, I even heard that he has now taken over the shrine of his father. Yes, absolutely. He is now in charge of the shrine. Remember that this deity used to be the god that protects our kingdom. And but then, as soon as as soon as uh, Ikemba took over, it has turned our people's interest away from. Our God. Yes. Yes. But now, you know, it's drawing their interest again back to our gods. And by what, from what I said, I heard, he's doing pretty good right now. Then let us go and meet him. I believe he will be willing to help out. He will. He will. He will. Yeah. Both of you, go on. I can't go with you right now. The sky is overcast. Let me quickly rush and close my, my wine shop. Okay. Yes. So I will join you before you go ahead. I'll quickly run because my wife and my children, nobody's at home. Okay. So let me quickly rush and make sure okay. I secure my home. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go and do that. Okay. Then okay. meet us at, at the shrine. I will definitely. I'll meet you. Let's have some snuff. Come. 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 Down. Please don't hurt me. No, I'm not going to hurt you. It's after you. I don't know. The man was following me. The man was following you. From where? Okay, calm down. Calm down. Okay? Calm down. Calm down. I am your mother's friend. Okay, come. Let me let me take you. The man was following you. Well, I didn't see anybody. I think it's, it was just a hunch. 
You're home now. Mm? Don't be afraid. Oh. Just go inside. You change your school uniform. Then you wait for me, I'll bring your lunch. Thank you. Thank you for bringing me home. Maybe it's, it's not a lunch. You did that. You shouldn't talk to me. I would really appreciate it if you don't show your face around him anymore. Look, Dara, I understand how you feel. I'm only trying to be of help. I don't need your help. When I needed you, you weren't here. I understand I was not there then, but I'm here now. And what matters is now. See, Dara, I am not trying to win your, your trust back. I understand the situation on ground. I'm just trying to give the best help I can give. This boy here is, is our, sorry, he, he's, your, he's your child, but you know the role I played. I'm only here to make sure he gets what he deserves, please. Hey, can I just walk away? Then Egedem, them, Tingudo, Ege them, Tingudo, Ege them, Jege them, Okwa Nabu, Tingudo, Ngudo. Yogodo. Yogodo. Odon, Yogodo, Ni Yogodo. Ori Abu, Yolu Godo. Ona Yogodo, Odu Godu Lugo, Na Mandi Mo. Alu Simenye, Na Okwa. Eji Opindi Mo, Ji Azoka. When ni akabon you do, or to say, or to say, Nna mo chene kene moon, Nna mo chene kene moon, Nde mo ne kene moon, Matan, Katasiano, Mutasiano, or young Yogodo, or young Yogodo, or young Yogodo, even a linzu bien wellenzu, a cabian wellenzu, a vobian wellenzu, or ye bien wellenzu, Mpoke de bino, a hunu nanzu, or young Yogodo, or young Yogodo. Elders of Amici Kingdom. Elder you people don't need to worry about Afanifun. He is the son of the gods. They chose him, and the gods shall see to his welfare. Hey. Thank you, Ezemwa. But Ezemwa, I don't understand what you mean by Chosen one. Does it mean the gods are in support of crowning him as our Igwe? As a child, king, as a more, or when he grows up? Now, as a child, Afamefuna is a destiny child born with a golden crown on his head. There is no debate at all on what is rightfully his, though a turbulent wind shall blow. Geared towards blowing away the crown from his head. Huh? Huh? Uh, huh? But the gods, the gods, shall always protect their own. Hey. Mm. Hey. Okay. Oh, young Yogoda. Yalugoda. 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 Oh, now young Yogoda. I heard some people tried to kill Afamefula two days ago while he was returning from school. Hmm. Hmm. Amaka. Channels news at 10. Ah. Every time you heard, you heard. Hold yourself. Hold yourself. I had it. Who was it behind us? That's the problem. Who 
want to kill a little boy. A family was wiped out. And the gods spared one. The gods have a reason for sparing the life of that young lady. Now she has a son. To continue the very lineage of her father. Which the tradition permits. And now somebody is trying to kill the little child. Why? May the gods protect the little boy. He said, hey. my own is that. <clears throat> Killing the little boy is not the best. But you know, <clears throat> maybe some people are afraid of the little boy growing up to demand for his rightful place. Wishes. <laughs> the kinship. The throne. The rulership which has been in existence right from his grandfather's creation. Yeah. Anyway, uh, let's just be careful the way we discuss in this palace. We are yet to know he's after this little boy's life. And if eventually he's coming from the palace, we'll all know. As for Prince Chike, his zone is just too much. It's just too much. Hola, Shut up. Don't cut Hola, me. Chi. Allow me to finish. He's so desperate for that throne. My hands are not in this. <clears throat> Why? And um, who wants to crown the rapist? <laughs> rapist. What? That my brother did what? My princess, so oh, I didn't say anything. I know the person that said it. All of you, come with me right now. Move it! I said move, move it! Hurry up! trying to murder an innocent child because of the throne? What are you talking about? Just answer me! Is it true that you tried to kill an innocent child to protect the throne? Tell me what I heard is not true. Father! Answer me! Why are you silent? Tell me what I heard is not true. Did you try to kill an innocent child because of the truth? That's enough, princess. That's enough. No. I need dad to answer me. I need him to tell me that what I heard is just a mere accusation. That's enough. That's enough, princess. Hmm? I mean, you know your father too well. He's not a murderer. Some misguided element out there just trying to tarnish your father's good image. But it's your father you should believe, and not them. Hmm? Come here, dear. Come here. See, your father is not such a person. He cannot hurt anybody. Okay? There's no element of truth in what you have. Hmm? Okay, right just go inside. Okay? Go inside, my dear. Open it up. Honey. But, tell me the truth. <laughs> what is she talking about? Did you do anything like that? Honey, answer me now, please.
Look, look. Is it true? Is it true that you tried to kill that innocent boy that is rumored to succeed that? What kind of nonsense are you talking about? You know what I'm talking about. Just tell me the truth. I heard some people made an attempt on the boy's life. That you and dad had something to do with it. Tell me it's not true. Well, that's crazy. I didn't do anything like that. Wait a minute. I think you made a valid point. I mean, this never crossed my mind. That boy needs to be eliminated, yes. Because people are really tipping him to success there. And the appears he has the crowd, and I can't stand him. Huh. I know. He's just a child. And he is standing between me and my birthright, which is the throne. I don't see him like a child. I see him like an enemy, and I'm going to treat him as one. Is this why you were here crying? Come on, you should be happy. I don't need this out to be. Son? When are you gonna come back to the city? Papa, actually, I don't know for now. I I just want to hang around for a while. Why? Is there anything you want to do? Um, yes, Papa. Uh, it's about um, it's about Chidera's son. What about him? I saw someone I could not I could not recognize the other day chasing him with a dagger. Yes, and the boy managed to escape. I was the person that walked him home on that very day. But I didn't want to tell the mother what I saw. Papa, I, I believe strongly that that boy's life is in danger, a very serious danger. And I think it has to do with um, the throne that our people want to return to him. What's your role on that, eh? Papa, actually, I, I want to hang around. I just want to stay a while in the village and make sure that nobody harms him. Last time, the, last time they came as Told us that the has told us that they, that he's going to be well protected by the gods. By the gods. Yes. Yeah, but that's that's very nice to hear. But um, I, I still want to hang around for a while in the village here. But what about your business in the city? Uh, the business is going fine. Besides, my apprentices are there, so they are taking good care of it. Sure. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. to be the little warrior that is meant to betray my father. That's... Shut up your mouth. What don't you understand? It's the king does not understand what I'm saying. <laughs> now listen, because you must understand what I'm saying. I have come here to find out if you understand the value of life. Now, do you value your life and that of your mother? Do you? come to my house and threaten an innocent boy. Did you say innocent? That boy ain't innocent. Okay? Because he appears to be the most popular guy in this kingdom now. Everybody is tipping him to overthrow my father. Now, I don't know how you guys did it. But if you know what is good for you and that bastard son of yours, you better pack your things and leave this kingdom immediately. She did not just say that. I just did. 
Oh, yes. And it's a friendly advice. Listen to me. You are standing on my way to the throne. And do you know what I do to people who stand on my way, bitch? I kill them. And that's exactly what I'm going to do to you. The throne is mine. I'm going to reign after my father. And I will not entertain any form of threat from anybody. Not even you and that son of yours. You can't change tradition. You can't change tradition. So said the gods. In the next four market days. Uh, you don't look happy today, man. Why will I be happy? When the prince went harassing my niece and her son. No. What? Why did he say a thing like that? Because he's very stupid and like a bit of bringing. Obika, do you know you are speaking about our crown prince? No, your prince, not mine. Huh? Uh, it's you, Obika. By saying this, it's like saying that you don't recognize the authority of his majesty. Yeah. And will I be wrong if I say that? You, this is the make your pardon. You pardoned already. Why would I recognize his authority? When he failed to control his son, probably he allowed him to instill fear into my niece and her son. Just because he knows he has lost the throne, which he never deserved. Don't say that, Obika. He deserved the throne. That's why he is sitting there. Mm -hmm. Then let him prove that by providing the symbol of authority. Therefore, let him provide your vote before me if he knows he was truly chosen by the God. Chill, Mika. Chill, Mika, calm down. What are you saying? Don't ask me to calm down. Leave him. Leave him. Let him fly up. Please, Obika. Obika. Please, Obika. Uh -huh. Obika. Shut up. Obika. It is not your fault that chose him to be hey. on this road. Daddy! 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 Daddy!
You say, are you very stupid? What? Are you, are you mad? My prince! Oh, you want to beat me? You slap me! You slap me, crown prince! You slap me! No, 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 what What I will get you. I will get you. Don't worry. Who the hell is that? Not a bitch. My prince, who must have my belt with the mud? Jesus Christ. Hi. Who's that? My prince. He's Maze Keze's son. Eh? Yes. Maze Keze's son. His father is even one of my father's chiefs. Yes. Oh my God. I will teach them a formidable lesson. Yes. Hi. I will teach him a lesson he will never forget in the haste. Yes, my prince. Hi. Please. Should I involve uh, uh, Chidi and uh, Joe? Mamba, ba, don't worry, don't worry. See, I will handle this my own way. Relax, you will see what I will do. Hi. Please, my prince. I swear with my life, they will regret this for the rest of their lives. Hi. Please, my prince, yeah? I want to ask you for a favor. What? Please, anytime you want to handle them, involve me. Yeah. I want to take a revenge. Yeah. Serious one. You're my man now? Yes. Of course. Man. Thank you, my prince. Hi. 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 My prince. How come he keeps fighting for you? Like I heard, they almost killed themselves yesterday. What? Chidera, you need to stop this war. I mean, you're the only one that knows why Obiora is doing this. I don't know. I truly don't know why he's doing this. I didn't ask him to fight for me. Well, thank you. Thank you for telling me. Anyway, how is Afam? Afam is fine. Thank you. I heard you confronted the prince yesterday after he came to my place. Why? Because you did not tell me that something I will not get to hear it. That is the problem. I don't remember asking you to do that. The last time we discussed, I told you to stay away from us, didn't I? Father, I cannot do that. I have to be there for you every time. Can't you understand it? Listen, Odera. I am not trying to be possessive. I want, only want to help. I don't need your help. We don't need your help. Please stay away from us. There are it's okay. What? 
I bring you a message from the gods. The gods. I do not recognize you as the messenger of our God. That is because you have employed the services of a man who pretends to be a messenger of the gods. But I, I am Udo Dele Udo Uleni, son of late Chikwadu Udusi, the custodian of the shrine of Iyatusi, the great god that protects this land. And I stand on my father's truth. I don't recognize the authority of that deity. Also, the gods do not recognize you as the king of this kingdom. And they have ordered you to vacate that stolen throne of yours with immediate alacrity before what? it is too late. Leave my palace. Igwe, asina akalo mali o mali, mana akalo o veke, o veli siti nye no fia. O kwa nekuo masi anuro, nyabu lo wata. Mana si fulu le huro, nyabu lo kene. I have delivered my message. Do that now, you still have the chance before it is too late. Keep going! Keep going! I have delivered my message. We don't have the time. We don't Keep going! Are you staying here? Leave! Are you staying here? I have delivered the message. The city. Why so sudden? Come on, answer your sister. Why have you just 
decided now, suddenly, to go to the city. A place you swore never to go back to. Please, I'm running out of time. I will explain later, please. Let me just get to the city. I will explain later. Come back here. What's that? What's going on? Do you have anything to do with that? Oh, what is happening out there? My queen, the youths are demanding for the queen's head. What? They said he killed someone at the village square. I think this I can explain. I can explain. See, it wasn't, it wasn't intentional. I was just trying to harass the, the guy, just to shake him small. You know, I didn't know he was just a vegetable. He just slumped and collapsed. And the police. You killed him? Oh, oh I, didn't, I didn't want to. Hey, let the police. Please, forgive me. Please, please. What kind of problem is this? What do you do about this? Igwe, uh, is it true that Prince is not here yet? What sort of nonsense question is that? How can Igwe lie about that? Of course, Igwe has every, of course Igwe has every reason to lie about things like this. But I'm not saying that Igwe is lying either. What I'm saying is that if Prince was here, Igwe, he could tell us how everything really happened, so that we shall know how to go about it. Right? You will. You will. Alone. What is it? Alone. There is fire on the mountain. The youth caught one of the boys that was with the prince, lynched him, and they are searching for the rest. They are even threatening to deal the same to all of them, including our own prince. Hello. Wow. Hey! This is serious. You will. What do we do? Um. We need to calm the youths down first. <clears throat> and make them understand that two wrongs do not make a right. In situations such as this, the police will need to be brought in. And everyone involved must be made to serve some punishment according to the laws of the land. I just heard that the youths cut all your friends and burnt them. And now they are threatening to do the same to you. I can't guarantee your safety, so you must leave this land. How can I do that? These people could be laying out there waiting for me to do the same thing to me. Why did you stab that man? He called you a murderer. That he said you murdered an entire family just to become the king. I couldn't stand it. You see, this is not the first time someone is telling me that though. But this time around, I couldn't stand it. Dad, tell me sincerely, were you responsible for the murder of the members of that family? No. That wasn't me. That wasn't you? 
Well, who would then if it wasn't you? It was my brother, your uncle. My uncle? But they said my uncle died months before he returned to Kent. That was because I killed him. He had an eye on the throne just like I did. I didn't have the balls to wipe out an entire family. Of course he did. I didn't know he was planning to do anything. They were all dead before anything. I couldn't watch him take the throne after that, so I killed him in a car accident. I then worked my way to the throne. I did everything possible and got the throne. It was my desperation that made people suspect that I killed the Igwe and his family. But I did not. Of course, I was happy it happened, but I did not. I sacrificed my brother to get to the throne. I will sacrifice anything to keep it. That was why I asked you to stay away, that I will handle things my own way. But you did not listen. Now see where it has landed you. You will leave this land. Meanwhile, let me see what I can do to fix things. Dad, please. You must do something. Do not allow them to kill me. You know, I am the next king. I, I will succeed you when you are gone. So, if the king learns all these sacrifices, you made must have been in vain. No, you don't worry. Yes, ma'am. You are here? Yes. I was in your room, I didn't see you. I'm here, ma'am. Um, has your brother contacted you? No, he hasn't. But I tried his line and it was switched off. You see, that is why I've been worried. We agreed that he was going to call me the moment he gets to the city. But up until now, he has not called and his phone is unavailable. I, I am so worried, I don't... And... Calm down, Mom, I'll try again. Oh, my phone. Yeah? Hello? Yes, I am. Who are you, please? What? My son? Which hospital? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Mom? What is it? What happened?
in sea now. Well, they are doing everything to save his life. He was badly injured. Oh, I'm mm. so sorry. Mm. It's all right. Um, yes, Your Highness, I fear I have uh, fearful news. What is it? The use of this kingdom rallied today, expressing their disappointment and doubt on you. Um, they insisted that the kid, Apomephne, must be crowned the king. Hmm. In order to quell the situation, the elders declared, hence therefore is the symbol of authority. They gave you four market day Monday to produce the offer. Same also goes to the kid. Any of you who is able to produce the offer becomes the king. Yes. This is madness. This is, this is, this is lunacy. This is a serious situation, and I don't know how to escape it. The people have revolted against me. And the only way out is I find the offer. Jimba, I don't know where the offer is. I don't know how to set about finding it. I'm pleading with you. Please, find the offer for me. Find it. Your Majesty, I will try my best. Please do everything possible. I never thought I would get to this. Hmm? I don't want to lose my throne to that kid. Hmm. It's all right, Your Majesty. The conclusion is that any one of them that will be able to produce the offer becomes the evil. What happened to it? My dear, it disappeared immediately after the death of your father. And since then, nobody knows it will about. But it is widely believed <laughs> that you, Chidera, may know where your father used to keep it. No, I don't. I don't even know what it looks like. Oh, no, my dear, my dear, I think if you take your time, you, you, gonna, you, you will remember that he used to hold it No. No, I don't recall. You don't even need to bother yourself. The truth is that it is not in the whole of this building. This house was ransacked severally after her father's death. 
I believe they were sent by Ikemba. But they were unable to find it. So it is now left for the gods. Unseen forces. As we speak, his body is decaying along Iyama's road now. Hey! Oh, yeah, Bama, Igwe. That means there is trouble in the kingdom. Not only that, Igwe, the little boy has produced the offer of this kingdom, and everybody has given their support to him. Hey, hey. What do you suggest? Igwe. Um, um, I think we should return the kingship to Kenwa's palace. It is their best right. I am speaking this so that the gods will hear me out. Eh, let us support the little boy and crown him. Kudochia, Kudochia Igwe.
This is hard. Yes. This is difficult. I am alive. I am king. A king vacates his throne and the next of father. The last of father. The last of father. No. I shall not relinquish my throne. Daddy, please, let us support the little boy. Why are we so keen to hold on to something that does not belong to us in the first place? You will have a legacy as the one peaceful man who vacated his throne on a peaceful level. Daddy, the little boy found the offer. And that simply means that the gods are with you. Please, Daddy. Please. Let it go. Please, honey, please, I beg you, vacate the throne. Yes. Imagine your elder brother wiped out an entire family for the sake of this same throne, just because he wanted to ascend the throne. And you, in turn, killed your elder brother for the sake of this same throne. Ha. This is evil. I don't want to blame you. Because at then, there was nobody from that family to continue the kingship. But now, someone has risen with the symbol of authority in his hands. Honey, please. You know I never really loved this. This Lola, prince and princess. What are they all for? Let's give it up. Give it up and live a normal life. Let's live a normal life. Please, back at the throne, Pico. I beg you. Will I stay awake? Is it not better I declare war on this throne? Igwe came by the first. Igwe. Mkemba. of this community. We are here to perform our tradition. 
Mm. We are not here to tell long stories. Huh? As we speak, the king, Igwe, Ikemba, has willingly vacated his throne just to let peace reign. In that vein, I, Ichie Iloka, the owner who of this kingdom, young man, stand up. I, as the owner who of this kingdom, do hereby cry you, Apamefune Okuli, as the Igwe. Okenna, the second of Amage Kingdom. This need can only be delayed. It can never be denied. Hey. You can't cheat the future. You can't cheat the future. You can't escape justice in life. Oh, oh, oh yeah. No matter how fast you run, you cannot escape from your shadow. Ooh. My Patupa, I greet you. Thank you all for seeing in me the blood of royalty and bringing royalty back to where it belongs. Daluno. And to the former Igwe, who, despite all his powers and ego, vacated the throne just for peace to reign in this kingdom. You can't change tradition. As a little boy, I don't know anything about royalty and still going to school. I want you all to bear me witness. I, Ahamefuna, Okoli, Igwe Okena, two of Amerchi Kingdom, want to hand over the offer to Ikemba to hold forth for me. Please. By my authority, call him Igwe. Tradition. Ooh. You can't 